the heath is collected in the in the field behind me so we did dug uh, a big system of trenches about four feet deep four feet wide coils of pipe running around in the trenches there's probably about 800 meters of piping buried underground uh, those pipes collect the heat heat the water up to maybe five six degrees and then that's channeled in piped again running underground to the boiler house over there heat exchanger in the ground source heat pump and that will suck the heat out of that water dropping it down on in cold weather it might drop it down as far as minus five and then that's got antifreeze in it and that runs back out into the field system where it warms back up again and comes back the heat it's sucked out of the water it takes a large amount of low temperature heat and exchanges that up to a smaller amount of high temperature heat which then circulates through the radiators in the house It won't warm up a room quickly in the way that oil would. So you kind of need to keep a level of background heat there. So most of the house we're sort of running at about 16 degrees, something like that. And then we heat it up to sort of 18, 19 degrees um, for the rooms we're going to occupy. Disadvantages, well, for ground source, first of all, you need a field to stick it in. Certainly if you're going with a, an array like we've got, obviously the other option is a borehole. It's an expensive system to install. When I was digging the trenches, there were points at which I was cursing and saying, this is an absolute nightmare. But once it's in, it should just last. You know, the, the heat pump is pretty basic, solid technology. You know, the collectors is buried in the ground. You know, the pipe is rated for lasting 100 years. So even if we need a new boiler, we should still be able to use the same, the same collector system. The system's reduced our carbon footprint hugely. It's about an 80% drop in, in carbon. Um, running costs are comparable with oil, but in a way it was never a, a running cost idea. The idea was just to cut the, cut the carbon. So hopefully as the grid decarbonizes, our carbon footprint should, should fall even further. That's, that's my hope for the future.